Yes, UNC did walk away with that win last night. Yeah, it was the number one team and the number 18 in the We're country. Celebrating. The team won. Here's how the Tar Heels celebrated with Coach Roy Williams in the locker room after that 88 to 72 win. Our own Zach Dahlheimer takes us right to Franklin Street where all the action happened. It's just an absolute party here on Franklin Street with lots of people. After beating top ranked Duke over at Cameron Indoor. Now, here's a look at sort of the celebrations right here on Frank. We have a lot of students and fans from UNC that are just taking over the street. A lot of fans are all gathered all around Franklin and Columbia Street. We talked with students earlier tonight about what it was like to see them beat top ranked Duke. I'm feeling electric, man. I'm feeling electric. I couldn't imagine a better night. It was a 40 yard dash when I got here. About probably a few hundred people were here, and we burned our way through, jumped the bonfire a few times, you know, just, just made some memories. And a lot of Tar Heel fans say they've got the date marked on their calendar when Duke comes in the Chapel Hill to take on UNC next month. A lot of people are looking forward to that next game between Duke and Carolina. But for now, in Chapel Hill, Zach Dahlheimer, CBS 17 News.